Well, here it is, February 12th, and we're getting ready to reinstall the engine and the quad frame. Okay, what I'm doing here with the clamps is spreading that out a little bit because I remember when I disassembled the engine inside the frame, that taking off that top rocker cover was a pain to get through there. It was rubbing right here and right here. What I did was I took the calipers and I measured from here to there and I got 8.166 and in between the frame it was smaller than 8.166 so I opened it up with that uh, clamp and now it's a little bit bigger so it may just give me enough room to get that engine in there without fighting too much. Just in case it goes in quickly, I got the mounts ready to go and the big spacer goes on that side and then the small spacer goes on this side and then that spacer goes on that side and then this uh, bracket goes on before the nut. I, uh, I actually went through and reviewed the video of taking this apart so that I know a little bit more where everything goes so I don't put something down underneath something and it needs to be on top of something. Okay, so I've got the old swing arm bolt going through, holding the swing arm, and I have the new one holding that swing arm, and then I have these spacers pushed out, and I have enough room to get the engine in. All right, let's just do a, a trial run here and see what happens. Oh boy, you feel lucky? Yeah. lot easier coming out because it was just the block and the piston and stuff. A little bit different. Maybe the top end goes in first. Sure is nice having this cart though. Can't say enough about that. Let's see if I can. Engine going in, take two. We're gonna slide it in and try to get the head up and then set the engine down. tight but ooh the cart moved but I think we can get it swung in and popped up here that stuff on the floor that and my cart's moving getting close Take an engine bolt through here give me a little extra uh, leverage right here we got it in about right where we want it I stuck a motor mount bolt in the front, give me a little bit, bit of leverage. I moved the uh, quad a little closer to me on this table so that I'm not leaning way over, uh, stressing my back. So I get a little better leverage with it. Top, this guy, get this, there we go. There we go. Little by little. All right, we got her sitting in there. We got a little bit of space like I asked for. Now we just got to get it tipped back a little bit. Yep, yep. Get my finger out of there. Yep. All right. It's pretty good. Um, what's going to be the biggest thing is getting the hole lined up 
with the bolt going through. So I brought two hammers. Why, uh, why just bring one and have to go back and get the other? That's a different uh, solid flood. Oh, I can see that the engine's... Oh yeah, right. I'll get my finger out of the brake. All right. See that? Hear that solid thud? That means we're nowhere near there. All right, I see what's what's really holding me up over here is I got the chain pinched between the engine. So I got to get the chain. Oh, that thing's moving. All right, so the chain's out of the way. Now we just got to go back. Just like that. A little bit right about there, I'd say. See if we can't get that uh, swing arm bolt through there. There it goes. See that? It moved. Yeah, now we're hitting now we're hitting the other side. So we gotta go over and finagle that. And there it goes, folks. Uh oh, pop that out. Make sure you stop. Swing arm around a little bit. Find the hole. Try to tap it at the same time that you found the hole. There you go. Wow. And she's home, folks. Oh, jeez. What a nightmare. Well, not really a nightmare. But first process is done. So there it is. Got the big bolt through. I'm just going to put this on for right now. When I get ready, when I get ready to install this permanently, I'll clean the threads off, put some Loctite on there. But for right now, it's just sitting. Now I can lift the engine up, remove the paper towels holding the, well, protecting the frame, and then start putting the engine mounts back together. Well, Lee and I got it all buttoned up. We uh, got the engine in. We've got the Warner mounts in, Loctited. Loctited, Loctited. Still little remnants of Loctite right there. Uh, that one there got Loctited. And then we came over here and we put the uh, oil cooler lines on, clutch cable. Right now I'm in the middle of uh, tightening that up. That's why I put the rear tires on it so I can get my wrench in from the bottom. In this position, I'm unable to tighten it. So that's why I threw the tires on real quick. I got this vent hose on, uh, starter. ground wire and I got the lights hooked back up and I got the sending unit plugged in for the reverse and neutral well there it is on all fours something something that it hasn't been for quite a long time like I said I put the rear tires on just to get that bolt right there That holds the bracket. So all the cables are back on. No, I did not put the carburetor back on. A lot of things are left to do. We gotta clean the plastics, clean up the exhaust, put the plastics on. But it's getting closer every time we come out and work on it. Thanks for watching.